Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? Welcome back to World of Tanks. And welcome to my final update 1.0's hype episode. Today, Russian server should get it, should get update 1.0, long waited update 1.0 and tomorrow we should get it as well on EU and on NA. But I wanted to make one more episode from the test server, from 1.0's test server, because I am going to be on a little vacation when this patch hits a live server, so tomorrow I'm actually going away for three days, but this is my 1.0's action for you today. On a couple different maps I am going to show you a live battle, so quite an interesting interesting live battles as well, I might add, especially in the first battle, or a semi-live gameplay episode, because I did record everything live, but the video footage was corrupted, black screen, but audio was fine, audio was perfect, so I had to sync up replay file with the actual audio. So yeah, it's a pain in the ass, but what can I do? And uh, when I come back, you can see more 1.0's action from live server, hopefully from me. So you might see, or you are going to see some battles from the older version when I'm away, but when I get back, of course, I am going to jump into 1.0 right away. So without further ado, let's jump into the action. And our first HD map in today's episode is Mountain Bass, so this is how it looks, but I believe you have already seen it. And oh boy, this looks beautiful. This background looks bloody beautiful. Uh, so WZ1321 as my first vehicle as well. Let's try to spot something across the map. Nothing spotted. Interesting. Really interesting. Map border is nice and visible. Come on. Come on, enemy team. Where the hell are you? Do we have like 15 players over here or not? That shot was a miss, sadly. But hopefully, this guy gets spotted once more. Now, penetrating. <laughs> I wanted to say penetrating object for for you from this distance is almost impossible for my gun, but I was still able to do it somehow. So no complaints over here and everything looks so clear. Just so bloody clear. Ah. Well. Let's actually repair our turret. Full assistance for that. Beautiful. And yet another 432 has been spotted. And I'm I'm still getting uh, I'm still getting assistance for that bloody super gun cutter. Now in this position I think I should load in heat right away. I do not have good enough penetration to reliably and easily penetrate. That's 705 for example. But we really need him to take the shot before we do anything at all. Come on. Nope, nothing. Uh, okay, let's reposition. I think I have to go back to the base. I think this is the best play at the moment. Oh, actually, yeah, I know. I know what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to flank all those guys over here. That should make them a little bit more busy. But they have to keep uh, one eye on the TVP as well. They just killed one of our dudes, so I really have to go in to support them. Oh yes, FE4005 has been spotted. And just look at this bloody background, this is beautiful. Like, what is this game, guys? Seriously? Sad I'm not able to surprise them anymore, but maybe I'm able to surprise those heavies on the east side. Let's try to do that. Water. If you haven't seen that already. Ooh, 1500 hit from our FE4005. Okay, that guy is Dunzo. That guy is Dunzo Finito. Let's track. Because JPZ is moving in. And full assistance for that as well. 
And now I am not actually going to move in from this angle. Let's go into the middle once again. Most likely FE-425 has repositioned already. I really do hope so. Okay, learn to try to it. TVP doesn't have good enough gun depression to shoot me down here. So I wasn't even worried. But now, for the Krilla, let's load in my one and only H round. Krilla doesn't even know that I'm over here. He still doesn't know that I'm over here. Boom. That shot goes into the pooper. And they're rushing down our dude. Tracking. Is that Krilla using heat? This is my question. Of course he's using heat. Oh shit, TVP. And I'm not even able to spot the TVP from here. What the fuck is up with that? Quick shot. Ah, shit. Let's fix the stun effect because my repair is going to be just a tiny, tiny little bit faster. Where is the TVP, by the way? Are they coming back now? This is my main question. Jesus Christ. Boom, that shot goes in. And I received yet another shot from TVP. But I have to reposition. All the way. By the way, shit, Effie has been destroyed. I have to be careful about Krita 15. Maybe he moved into the middle. Might be. Mm, how to play it? Do I play it super carefully because TVP can wait me, can wait for me from this little road. So this map is full of corridors, and I really do not want to trap myself into one of those corridors. We have a full HP WZ 113G FT also over here. So I really should do some spotting for those guys. I think I'm actually going up the hill. This, I think, is one of those positions where they are not going to wait for me. And TVP is going down. And to know WZ, you really should not chase me if I'm not spotting anything. Come on, dude. You should know better than that. There is nothing over here and this guy's... Hopefully he stops chasing me. We need to cover more map. Krilla 15 should be one shot for JPZ at least. If I remember correctly. Now, maybe they... And look, just look where our Yawk Panther is at the moment. Like, what the fuck are you doing over there, buddy? Seriously. This is this server. This guy is playing for his life at the moment. And I'm afraid Krilla uh, 15 or, or 705A or maybe both, they are waiting in the base. This can be one thing. So, how to approach? Let's see, maybe they are waiting behind that corner. Quickly, yep, one guy is over here. I wanted to get under better angle for that. Nice, okay, Artie was able to pick up that kill. And now, where the hell is Krilla 15? Let's load in a round for, for Krilla, just because maybe I have to hit the tracks or whatnot. Now, hopefully our WZ-113G comes over here as well, so we are able to move in together. Most likely Krilla is camping somewhere, so I can move in, I can take one shot, I can tank one shot, and hopefully... 113 is able to finish him off. I'm simply waiting for that 113 now. Okay, this guy said fall back. Seems like he wants to move in. Seems like he want, uh, wants to tank that shot for me, which is fine. Fine by me. I am... Actually, I'm going to keep just a little bit more distance. So I can rush in with full speed. Okay, Krilla has been spotted up on the hill. Beautiful. Now we know where he is. And Krilla took the shot. And our 
113 missed. Okay, and time. This game is over, and he actually rammed himself into me to death. Beautiful, alright. Not a bad battle, guys. Close to, what is it, 9.5k combined damage. I got a lot of lucky assistance from this battle, but... But I really like it. The ending especially. Thank you, shout out to our awesome and first mark. Shout out to our awesome JPZ100. On this server, let's hide in the corner of the map. Let's camp over there. Oh my god. Yeah, anyway, this was my first battle with uh, WZ132-1 on Mountain Boss. On New Mountain Boss. That you are able to enjoy uh, tomorrow, hopefully. And our final battle today comes from one of the most exciting maps, actually, for me, from 1.0. Map that has actually changed a lot. A lot of new positions, new strategies, hopefully, as well. And as you can already see, that SDRV was able to get behind some cover already. And Erlenberg, aka Turpenberg, just took his first victim already. JPZ E100. What the hell are you trying to do, buddy? With that shot, most definitely I did not get spotted, but this guy knows exactly where to aim. Okay, I was actually a little bit scared. And we are alone over here, and really. <laughs> This vehicle is one of those uh, tanks that can fight versus version 4. Super easily. Let's just try to keep that JPZ spotted because he did receive one nasty shot. Oh, FE4205 as well. God damn and I just started reloading. This guy is never able to spot me. Spotted E100. Someone else, IS7, is getting all the assistance for that. This guy is at the very edge of my spotting range, so I should be able to take him out without getting spotted. Beautiful. And version 4 is somewhere near me as well. But SDRV is still doing some sniping. And here it is, version 4, and I have been spotted. Hopefully they do not have too many nasty guns aiming at me. Whew. But clinch mode. Was activated here for one second. Come on, is there a No Batchet. Batchet has been spotted. One quick shot into the Batchet. E100. Oh, yes, I can see your side. Where are you backing? But let's pick artillery, of course, while we're at it. This guy, I have to, or I should hit the tracks. No tracks, just damage. I actually wanted, it to, wanted to hit the tracks for more assistance, for more credits, fame, and whatnot. Come on, is there a wheel get spotted? There it is. Beautiful. And Effie, oh shit. Tracks. Nice. Oh, this guy has been stunned. Okay, beautiful. Sadly, 430 was able to pick up the assistance for me. But for obvious reasons, I couldn't be too aggressive. But what do you think about this side of the map, guys, by the way? It is a lot more open, maybe. Maybe good for no camping. And done. And boom. Alright. Okay. Yeah. I don't know what to say, 15 to 2 victory with AMX 13 105 on New Erlenberg. I actually would have liked to, to show you the other side of the map as well, but 
I guess you have to wait for patch 1.0 and second mark with 105 as well. I actually have second mark already on live server uh, chasing third mark but uh, yeah ladies and gentlemen 1.0 hype is real. As I said, I am on my little vacation for three days, so I am not able to provide you 1.0's content right when it goes live, so you might still see some old replays or, or games from the old version, but uh, stay tuned for my 1.0's action as well, of course. Uh, subscribe to be notified when I upload yet another episode, hit thumbs up button if you enjoyed, hit thumbs down button if you didn't, I hope to see you in here next time as well, same place, same time, stay awesome, take care and bye.